My name is Chiyoko Miyose. I'm the featured artist for the KMUW Artist Series for 2021. I was interested in art since I was a child. I grew up in Japan. My mom used to do oil painting and she encouraged me to draw when I was a child. She was also good at sewing and crocheting. She was always making something and I grew up learning them from her. I also enjoyed reading classic novels as a teenager. So when I went to college, I ended up majoring in English literature. It was after I moved to the States about 25 years ago that I got interested in studying art. I started taking art classes at WSU and I ended up getting a BFA in painting about 10 years ago. Since then, I've been given opportunities to show my work through exhibitions and commissions. First, I wanted to include images of both painting and installation because they are both important art disciplines for me. I wanted to include the photo of my installation gift since it has been the most ambitious work for me to make so far. Then I chose Sojourning number 21 because the color scheme goes well together with gift. The painting and the installation both have the elements of thread and they both talk about my searching for the idea of home. The image of the painting series Sojourning has three layers. The first layer is the Kansas landscape with the horizon. The wide open landscape of Kansas is so beautiful and attractive to me. At the same time, it makes me wonder if I have my own place in this big foreign land. The second layer is the white line elements. The image was inspired by crochet work. With the element of thread, I'm expressing my thoughts towards my memories and the places in my past. The third layer is the painterly geometric shapes. The shape of the square represents a notion of foundation. The whole painting expresses my longing and searching for the place to fully call home with a show sure foundation. With the installation gift, I'm expressing my thoughts about my life journey, meeting with people like family, friends, and the people who influenced me positively. For this work, I chose to use red colored thread as it immediately reminds me of an old East Asian myth of red thread. In Eastern Asian culture, we often say things like this person and that person are connected by a red thread, which means that they are destined to meet each other. I started collecting some old used clothes from my friends and family to represent something belonging to someone who influenced me positively. I started braiding them with wire and red thread, visualizing the way people cross their paths for a reason. These braided strands started to form a shape like flower petals. And it made me realize that these people are forming my life into a shape like a bunch of flowers. With a big ball element like a yarn ball on the floor that is connected to the flower component, I expressed my pondering thoughts on the origin or God's plan for this life journey full of meetings with people, which reminds me of a notion of home. I hope the viewers will find my work intriguing enough to think about the content of my work. My work has layers of meaning. My theme is personal, but also universal. I hope my work will become a place for the viewers to start the conversation in their minds about their own ideas of home. For installation especially, I hope the viewers will become a part of the work by seeing it 
listening to it and feeling the air, the light, and shadow. Installation arts are often ephemeral. They disappear after the show ends. There's a certain beauty in ephemerality. The viewer's experience in an installation piece can become a once in a lifetime thing. That makes us think that each moment of our life is important and our life is precious. If my work and my artistic practice will send this message to the viewers, I think it is a beautiful thing that happens to me and to my work. In my work, the element of thread often represents relationship and connectivity. That is not only because it serves as a connecting agent in the work literally, but also in the Japanese language, the verbs that are related to the word thread, such as to tie a knot, to cut, and to get tangled, represents different conditions of the relationship with people idiomatically. During this time of COVID-19 pandemic, we have been trying our best to be disconnected from people physically, but also trying alternative ways to connect with people. I believe connectivity with people is an important thing basically, and it can create a sense of home. I hope my work evokes a sense of connectivity and thoughts about the idea of home in this time of isolation and difficulty. The role of public radio has become ever more important these days. They can offer news, topics, and entertainment from a wide variety of sources for people who are physically distant. Public radio can become our threat to connect us. I'm so thankful for this opportunity to be invited to the KMUW Artist Series program this year. And I'm hoping that my work will serve well for the community in this challenging time. <laughs>